Next news is out of Iran. Iranian woman sentenced to 24 years behind bars for removing compulsory hijab. A uh, 20-year-old Saba Kord Afshari. This this woman is absolutely incredible. Um, she has been a, she, a a woman's rights activist um, for many years, doing things like uh, removing her hijab, making videos, um, things of that nature. She has been charged with spreading corruption and prostitution. By taking off her job and walking without a veil. Uh, uh, she's also been charged with spreading propaganda against the state and assembly and collusion. So um, she's been sentenced to jail for 24 years for these things. Um, the, she's, she's, the reason why they, they've made it so lengthy this time is she's had previous offenses. Um, but here's the deal. Is they've also recently arrested her mother um who to bring further pressure uh to to saba and to have saba make false confessions about other things that she's done so they realize that this woman is such a badass that they can't intimidate her with like prison sentence so yeah like let's go after her mom like think about how fucking low you have to be as a go as a country so that you go after people's family to intimidate them like wouldn't you think like you know we are the bad people at this like aren't you know that aren't we the baddies like isn't that one of the scenarios that you're like wow we're we're really the evil people in this story aren't we but think about how how Saba like how how badass she is like that she, the multiple offense that means she got she took half her job as a sign of protest and she got arrested and she had, she had a warning and she was like yeah I'm gonna keep doing this like talk about a freedom fighter right like these right. are these are the people that change history these are the people that like i tell people that every freedom and every right and every sense of peace and security we enjoy is because somebody somewhere decided to sacrifice their freedom their rights their safety sometimes their life and that's why we get to enjoy it today in countries like canada united states or western european countries but and this is happening right now. This this woman right here. This is what she's doing. She's try, she's she's trying to bring freedom to the people after her. She's going to go to jail, and she's going to be there for a very long time. But she's trying to sacrifice her freedom for freedom of other people. You're just looking at a hero right here. You're looking at a freedom fighter. This, That's right. Yeah, this is something people should. These are people that you should know and appreciate, and you need to support, right? This is what pe these are the names that we don't hear often enough. Let's see what the top comment is. Uh, Damien is saying, "Well, I'm sure the rules are pretty well known, so it serves her right." Oh my God, what the fuck! Look at the top comment, guys. The top comment thinks that she deserves it because she knows the rules. Wow. Yeah. Um, she should have known the oh. rules. Fucking asshole, man. No, what the hell? Are these people, like, I don't know, every time I see something like this, I, I want to ask them, do they think Rosa Parks should have followed the rules? Exactly. Do, do they think, do people really think that if it's law, then it's good? I, I don't, I can't. Hmm. These people never, are... I never understand these people. I mean, they're, uh, uh, assuming he's from the West, his, his ancestors probably fought against the rules for some things. Right. right, he and that's why he can say this right now. Right, the guy, the person that posting this actually is from the United Kingdom, right? So he gets to enjoy all the freedom wow. and all the rights that he has because other people broke the rules. Other people yeah. broke the rules for this motherfucker to be able to enjoy it without any sense of appreciation and any sense of gratitude for other people that are not doing the same thing for people that don't have those freedoms and rights. Like seriously, Damon, fuck you. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. 
Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.